how and why you should verify your business manager. In our experience, you're simply going to have an easier life with advertising rejections, bans, ad accounts being blocked. And it's very easy to verify your business managers. In another video, I showed how to get this button to appear if you don't have one. Very simple, check out the other video. You're gonna follow the documents guide, upload official documents to verify your business manager. You, these are the supported languages. Facebook wants to know if you are a real business. So you're gonna need basically three documents the certification of incorporation of your company, a bank statement and a phone bill. In our experience, these three are more than enough. Facebook wants to know if you are real or not. Simple as that. So do whatever it takes to look legitimate, to be, to be legitimate, I mean, you should be legitimate. Another thing that is overlooked is having a footer that has all the business information. What do I mean with a good footer? You're gonna have all the business information. You're gonna have, for example, the name of your company. Maybe if you can put all the privacy policies, etc., terms of service, a well done footer showing your information. If possible, even the same address, for example, that we're gonna put in the business manager. Once you have all the documents prepared, you're going to go to business settings, business info, put all your business info. In this case, this is a client's account I'm setting up. To change this information, you click on edit. After that, you go to the security center, click on start verification, get started. In this case, country is Italy. You're going to confirm all the data. You're going to click on next. Again, be sure that the data corresponds to the documents you're going to upload. So the address of incorporation, the name of incorporation, etc, etc. Next, email confirmation. Of course, you're gonna have to put the same email with the domain of the website. They need to be the same. Of course, this is a key. Click next. Okay, I'm gonna select an accepted document. In my case, certificate of incorporation, I'm gonna upload it. In my case, the business of incorporation includes the phone number or address, if it, so I'm going to click yes. In your case, if it doesn't, you're going to simply upload a document that verifies your address, like a bank statement or um, a phone bill. Those are key documents. So I'm going to click yes. Next, I'm going to put the email info, send email. I'm going to look up the code on the email and then copy and paste the code. Okay. I'm going to paste the code next. Okay. We're done in two or three business days. They're going to tell us whether we are verified or whether we have to supplement with more documents. They're going to be pretty precise. So just follow their instructions. Maybe they're going to ask for a phone bill or something else. That's pretty much it. Hope you find it helpful. Until next time, bye.